I'm Kimberly. Welcome back to Cross Stitch University. Today we're going to go over long stitching and back stitching. We'll talk about the difference and the different effect you can get with them when you're using one strand or two strands. On this pattern, we have designed this to be a long stitch. And that means the stitch goes from one point to another point to another point. We're going to do long stitches on the roof and the windows, and then I'm going to stitch these with a back stitch. And as I'm going through it, I will go in more detail and show you some different options. If your pattern has any designation for specialty stitches, it will usually be in your symbol chart or it will be in text. And what we've done with this pattern is we're doing the long stitches as a straight line and we're using two strands. Some patterns will use one strand. So you will want to look at that section for your specialty stitches. So we are gonna start up here and we are gonna do a long stitch from here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. So it's going to be four long stitches. We will start there and we're gonna use two strands. Then we're gonna to move to windows and the chimney. For any type of specialty stitch, like a back stitch, long stitch, French knot, or colonial knot, you will want to do those after all of your design is completely stitched. So we've done the entire design, of course, refer to our previous videos, and we're going to first work on a long stitch. And we have a loop started, and we're doing it with a loop method because we're using two strands. In a little bit, I will show you how to do this with one strand also. We'll start at this end, start my stitch there, and we're going to do a long stitch. So we're going to skip four stitches. We'll talk about back stitches in a little bit. I'll go to the back, put my needle through the loop, and then what I want is I want this to be in the center. So you don't want it to be over here or over here because it might pop through to the front. So I like it to be in the middle just like that. Now what I will do is I'm going to go to the top and then come back down. So you can see that the left hole is here and the right hole is here. We want to go in the middle. So because it's Ada, there won't be a hole. You will just create one. And so I'm between the two holes. Come up and go back in your previous and you want your strand, you can see it's a little bit wavy there. I'm gonna unthread this, separate my threads because I want everything to lie nice and flat since it's one big long stitch. So go back down in this hole. And if it's kind of twisting, just kind of change it with your needle and make it nice and flat. You want at the end this to to be nice and flat. So sometimes you have to work with it a little bit. So there, it looks really nice. Now what I will do is go over here. I usually go to the next hole instead of the previously poked in hole. And then I'm gonna go back down in the center and it looks nice and flat. And then here, I'm gonna start here because this next stitch is super long. So I'm gonna come back up and as you're going, just pull slightly taut. If you pull too tight, your stitches will be too tight. Just go back down here. And that is a long stitch with two strands. Now to finish that, I'm gonna run through five previous stitches, pull, go to the front, and see how it's loose? I did that on purpose. You want to pull a little bit until you like the tension and I'm pulling over here and then cut. Now we will do the two windows using the long stitch with two strands. So I'm going to take one of these strands from the previous strand 
join the ends to create a loop and we'll do the same thing. You can either go horizontally or vertically first. So I think I'll go horizontally first. Just follow the placement in the pattern. And then I'm gonna go over the top. Now here, you can either do one long stitch up and down or you can do it where it meets in the middle. So I like the way it looks this way. So the next window, I'm gonna do four stitches, just so you can see that you can have freedom when you do your stitches. So you can also do it just like this where you just meet in that same center and you have four stitches instead of two and you can decide which one you like better and do that method. I think the first window looks better. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off. So option one, option two. Now on the chimney, you wanna go across three stitches. So I'm gonna show you three ways. The first way is the traditional long stitch. So if you were gonna do it that way, you would just do one stitch with two strands, use the loop method. Now I'm gonna pull that out and show you how it would look if you did a back stitch. A back stitch is each individual square instead of across all three. So to do a back stitch, I usually stitch in reverse. So I'm going to stitch from here to here, here to here, and here to here. And that is so your stitches will lie flat. So I'm going to do that. And then again, backwards. And then one more time. And that is the difference between a back stitch and a long stitch. A back stitch is each individual stitch and a long stitch is all the way across. Now I'm gonna pull these stitches out and I'm gonna show you how to do a back stitch with one strand. So there is not a loop to start and you will want to go through previous stitches to anchor before you start. So that means I will go through four or five stitches. And again, in cross stitch, you never want a knot. So what I'll do is pull, and then I'm gonna go back through the stitches again. And it should be taut enough to where it's not going to pull your thread when you start stitching on the front. And you would do the same thing it will just give a different look because it will be much thinner. So it will be harder to see your actual back stitches. But I wanted to demonstrate that because a lot of patterns do call for one strand in a back stitch. If you wanna finish it off, you just do the same thing. Run your needle through the back. So we have gone over long stitches with two strands. We've also demonstrated it this way with a slightly different technique, two stitches versus four stitches. And then here we have a back stitch with one strand. When this video is over, I will redo everything to where everything is a long stitch with two strands. I just wanted to demo some different options for you. And that's how you back stitch and long stitch. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and I will answer them. And make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when our next Cross Stitch University class comes out. Class dismissed.